How's it going? Um, I hope everyone's doing great and um, in great shape, great health. This could be one of my first reviews ever. One of the things that I bought over the holidays was... Ta-da! Alright, so this is a uh, brand called Ruggerd DSLR Parka Cold and Rain Protector. Okay, so this is how it looks like. I've seen this on another person's video and I was curious so I bought it. It's got like a snoop here, here, and here. Zip this, flips out, like that, the tissue, and there's also another zipper down below. Oh, 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 before I do test with this one, I've always wanted to test like using just a plastic bag on my camera in the snow or you know light light rain and see if it works or is it effective to prevent the camera you know from getting wet i think i'm gonna try that first and we'll see you know what happens okay today i decided to use like a plastic bag i cut a hole for the lens although the d850 is weatherproof you know this whole snowy situation i don't think it's gonna be good for my camera so I'm gonna go back inside and modify a bit, make sure it doesn't get wet. But it's kinda cool, you have just use your thank you bag. So attempt number one was with the plastic bag. It did somewhat help a little bit. What I'm gonna do now is try and put on the rugged DSLR parka. This is so weird. How am I supposed to find my viewfinder? This is very silly of me. This is the back side of it. So that's how you can see your viewfinder. This makes more sense using while it's snowing. Definitely not a plastic bag. During this situation, you just kind of want to have like a piece of tissue, you know, as you go along. If not your lens or your filter, it's gonna get all snowed. We cut this area, it's gorgeous. Although it's nice and um, cozy and it's, you know, it protects from the snow and but sometimes this material just goes over and that causes vignetting a little bit, but we'll see the results. So uh, I feel I should share a bit of the experience. I like this rugged parka because it keeps my hands all nice and warm while I'm shooting out in the freezing cold. But one of the things that was a bit challenging is that with this elastic rim or band, it's fine if you're using a prime lens which you don't need to zoom in or zoom out. Or in my case, I'm using a 2470 and there were times that I wanted to zoom in a bit. See when I'm retracting back. Okay, now all this material is like scrunched back and when I'm shooting, sometimes it has like a shadow cast or I think it's more like a vignetting, you know, superficial vignetting going on. And sometimes it could also just like pop out, you know, like da and da. It's great that it keeps my hands again nice and warm and but I really don't like that thing that happens on my lens. It's really annoying. You're just like trying to get your shot and then it's like ah. Overall, I think um, I would give this a three and a half out of five. It's really nice and cozy and it feels like an extension to my jacket. 
and it does, you know, keep your uh, camera uh, from getting wet. Only I feel, who knows, they can improve on this bit, this front bit. I haven't edited the photos uh, from this shoot, but I will soon, and you can check them out at uh, Eva Photography on my Instagram and maybe my Facebook. <laughs> and um, so. Tune in next time, I shall uh, share another experience or review another product. I don't know, but we shall see. Okay, see you soon. Take care.